have a question today. Um, the question is, uh, if uh, building power goes off and the generator kicks on, uh, when building power turns back on, will the generator automatically turn off again? So um, here's the answer. If the, if the building power uh, has gone out and your generator turns on automatically, you don't have to do anything, you haven't done anything, uh, then you don't have to do anything to turn the generator off once building power or your electrical utility turns back on. Uh, there's two types of uh, switches, uh, transfer switches that uh, uh, could be used in this type of uh, instance. Uh, some buildings may have an automatic transfer switch uh, which uh, would automatically turn the generator off and on. An automatic transfer switch does not uh, require any kind of uh, work. You don't have to do anything. It does it automatically. As soon as power, it senses power, the loss of power, uh, and it, the generator kicks on and it switches the power from utility to the generator power automatically. Uh, and then the other type of switch is the manual transfer switch. A manual transfer switch is precisely that. Uh, if you lose power, the entire building is shut down, uh, someone has to go and actually manually transfer the power from the utility to the generator power. And generally that means turning on the generator, manually switching a switch to generator power, and then once utility power comes back on, uh, you have to go back, uh, shut the generator down, transfer the, manually transfer the switch back to utility service power, uh, and then bring the building back up to power. Uh, one thing to consider uh, when this happens, uh, in either case, uh, usually the automatic transfer switch, you don't have to deal with this so much uh, unless you have uh, uh, the a type of system uh, in your building that shuts down uh, part of your electrical systems. Uh, in some larger buildings you might uh, be left with uh, emergency systems like some computer uh, or cash register, uh, POS systems, lighting, emergency lighting systems that remain on and cut everything else off. Uh, and that's to reduce the load on the generator so that not everything is on. Uh, it depends on how your uh, building is set up. Or your, uh, your building might be set up where the automatic transfer switch and the generator will supply the entire building uh, and there in that instance it's likely that you won't even notice there's a loss of power it'll, it'll transfer the power from, to the generator power uh, seamless, seamlessly so that there's no uh, the lights won't even flicker uh, so um, and then if you have to do it manually um, obviously there will be you know everything will be shut down uh, it depends on, on your type of building um, uh, so, in any case, if you have to restart or, uh, or shut the generator down and, re and uh, turn the manual transfer switch back to uh, the utility service, then you're going to want to shut down your electronic systems like computers, uh, if you have registers, uh, anything electronic, uh, maybe you have servers or that, that type of thing, you're going to want to shut all that down uh, before you switch the manual transfer switch back to the utility service. Uh, and then once you do that, you're back, you know, you're back on uh, utility surface power. Then you can bring your electrical equipment back up again. So, uh, hope that helps with uh, building backup power and uh, generators and transfer switches. Have a good day. even been electrocuted a few times. <laughs>